Let's see, and then it says, hello, I was wondering. Hey, how you doing today? This is Brad Sharp, it's best.com. We got some uh, fan mail and some questions, and uh, so anyway, Chance Buell, my, uh, my website guy, printed this out for me, and so it's time to answer a question uh, right here on video, put it on the site, and uh, Leonid, Le excuse me, Leonid uh, Kalashnikov, I hope I pronounced that even close to right, um, ask, is there any real difference between the uh, round sharpener and the long handle? Well, there actually is. Um, you know, the long handle is better for really cold weather when your fingers aren't working as good. If you're going to work on uh, pruners, head trimmers, grass trimmers, shovels, axes, things like that, you'll like the handle on the, uh, on the long handle. The little round one um, is just such a dream to carry with you all the time. Now, me, because I understand exactly how this thing works, the pressure situation, uh, all of that, I can use this just about as good on any of the tools. But when you're first starting out and things, you might like the long-handled one. And um, so anyway, the, the question is, I was wondering if there's any real difference between the poker chip and the long handle, and which is easier. And another thing, I need help sharpening curved edges. I can't sharpen it at all, but the straight, I can sharpen just fine. Well, um, this is going to sound a little bit funny, but you sharpen the edges of a curved, a radius blade, the exact same way that you do a straight blade. In particular, I don't know if this is a, a small sword. If that's a five or six inch handle, then this is probably 16, 18 inches long. And he's talking about this area of the radius right here, and then out to the tip. So if you break that up in about a four to five inch piece, it's actually basically a, a, a straight edge. So not quite sure what he's having troubles with, but, and my knife isn't this long sweeping, it's more of a sharp radius. But anyway, this is the picture of the knife that he sent that I'm supposed to address the issue on. So I'm going to use the uh, long handle and it's right back here in my pocket and I'm going to put the paper down and I'm going to show you. If you... I also brought a pizza knife. Why? Well that's about as curved a radius uh, blade as you can possibly get. So this particular knife has a very long, uh, it's about a 10 inch, 9 inch uh, straight edge and then it has a very sweeping radius on it. And by the way this is an old hickory uh, knife and it is a real old hickory knife and um, so anyway this is what we would do we would just break it down into like I always do three four inch like this right here and then start moving towards the tip we have two corners right there is a sharp 90 degree corner and on the other side is a sharp 90 degree corner if you have flat flat and flat what separates them is the 90 degree corner okay so we just put it on the blade match the bevel turn it approximately 45 degrees and then start brushing the blade like this set it down slide it forwards pick it up move it back set it down pick it up move it back set it down in real time it would look more like this and slide it right on out towards the tip if you want to move out here and go right on around at this point I'm setting down or at my table and I would use my leg like this for a bench that way the knife is uh, steady, it's sturdy right there on my leg, it's easy to manipulate. Bring it right down here like that, work on the tip. But the radius of the blade basically is straight. I don't notice the radius at all. But that's what you would do. Run it down the length, around the radius, drop it off the tip. Now we're going to touch this one really light, kind of polish the wire edge just a little bit. Nothing really changes except the pressure. Now let's see. We have some paper here, the same paper that I always cut up. And that's pretty darn sharp for a knife as thick as that is. The radius right out to the tip, and I'll pick this paper up here in a second. But that's sharp enough. A butcher knife that's pretty thick isn't going to cut like a, like a chef knife that's very thin. And I actually see on the cutting edge of my knife, because of the way I put them in my bag, that it has a few flat spots on it. And, uh, but, you know, it's still plenty sharp. This is Brad, sharpensbest.com, and I hope that answered some of your questions. Thank you.